Hello, PTAA artists. It's Miss Terrell, your art teacher. And today we are going to continue our learning on the element of art space. So, as you know, we talked about how things can be close together and have very little space in between them, and how things can be far apart and have a lot of space in between them. Today we're going to talk about how to space out objects in a drawing to make a landscape drawing. We're going to talk about something called foreground, midground, and background. The foreground in a drawing is the front, the very front. I like to remember foreground by remembering that foreground is in the front. They both start with the letter F. Midground is in the middle of your drawing or painting. It should be in the middle. And the background is all the way in the back and it's far, far away. So foreground is close to us and it's in the front. Midground is in the middle. It's a little further away from us. And background is far, far away. Let's take a look at The Hunters in the Snow by Peter Bruegel, the elder. If you look at this painting and look at the trees and the dogs and the people, they are in the front. So they are in the foreground. If you look at the houses behind the trees and the space where people are ice skating, it's in the middle of the painting. So that's our midground. And if you look far, far away in the back of the painting, you will see mountains, and that is in the background. Now you try. Let's take a look at this landscape painting. What is my arrow pointing to? The foreground, the midground, or the background? Good job, it's the foreground. The tree that the arrow is pointing to is in front. All right, same painting, but my arrow is in a new spot. Where is my arrow pointing to? The foreground, midground, or background? Good, it's the midground. It's the midground, it's in the middle of the painting. Okay, last one, same painting. Where is my arrow pointing to now? Is it the foreground, midground, or background? Good job. It is in the background. It is so far away from us. Now we're going to make a landscape drawing of our own and use foreground, midground, and background to space out our drawing. So for this, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see it a little bit better. The first thing we're gonna do is draw our foreground. So I'm going to make a line across the bottom of my paper about not super, super far down, but just enough. Then I'm gonna draw a pathway. This is my foreground, so it is in front of us. Next, I'm gonna draw my midground. And in my midground, I'm gonna draw a house on top of that line. So the house is a little bit farther away. That's why it's in our midground. Then I'm gonna draw a few trees. The next part of my midground, I'm going to make a hill. I'm going to make a hill right behind my house. And then for my background, I'm going to draw some mountains. And don't forget to give your sky a sun and some clouds. Once you're done drawing everything, it's time to color it all in. You can use whatever colors you like and whatever you have available to color with. 
I'm going to speed this part up, but if you want to pause the video so that you can catch up, you are more than welcome to. And you are welcome to use the same colors I used. And this should be your final product. This should what it, this is what it should look like. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.